So I only have my window cracked open a little bit, but a moment ago the wind was so much that I swear like the, the shades were moving and it sounded like the world was going to explode. Um, I have been referring to the weather today as Dementor weather because like when I woke up this morning it was completely foggy and now it's all rainy and windy and stuff and I'm reading Harry Potter and Sirius died again. Every time I read Order of the Phoenix, Sirius dies and it never changes. Sweden. Whee! My earrings and bookmarks are getting rained on, but I love the rain smell so much that I do not want to close the window all the way. Look, there's a person. I just found out that I can like pause recording without ending the clips. Like, I can practically edit the video without editing the video. This is so cool. This is the same clip as the last one, but you moved somewhere. What? Look at that pretty, pretty tree. I've done plenty of nice, well thought out, put together, edited videos, so I felt like making one where I just kind of talk at the camera and wander around aimlessly because, hey, isn't that life? I am going to go to dinner because I think it's about time. So, I will see you at dinner, camera. This camera does not yet have a name, and I keep wanting to call it Cameramera, but this isn't Cameramera. So, let's see, anybody watching this, if you have an idea for a name, you should comment on here and tell me. So, I did not realize how close the tripod was to my face for that entire video. In fact, I still don't know how close it is. Like, I don't know where should I be standing. Should I be here? Should I be over here? Should I be right here? I don't know what school you went to, but I went to Hogwarts. Camera, the rain falls down from the sky, yet you remain safe in your umbrella fort. My favorite parts of my college are the ones that look like Hogwarts. I don't know if you can see it from here, but they literally roped off the ginkgo tree because it was so smelly. So the cream puffs were really good, and if you had tasted them, you also would have taken an entire box of them, um, in my defense. So, yeah. And this is the part of the video where I ramble about the first random thing that comes to mind. So, I was reading Harry Potter, um, and like, like I mentioned about the whole series dying thing, and I was at the part where Harry finds the prophecy, finds out about the prophecy. And he, he gets this mentality of, like, it, it, the quote is something like, he found out he was either going to be a murderer or a victim, and there was no other way. And I think that's interesting, because I feel like a big part of the prophecy is that there is another way. Like, Voldemort, Voldemort chooses to kill Harry. Harry chooses to fight back. This comes into fate and free will and the very frustrating fact that maybe I have no free will and everything is either predestined or just like chemically bound to happen. Like there is that frustrating idea but I feel like in Harry Potter, at least to some degree, we have a choice and, and yet for God's sake maybe I have no free will and I'm going to make the same choice regardless of what I do. Maybe that's true. But even if it is, I still feel like I'm choosing and I still feel like I'm deciding who I am um, and that has to count for something, doesn't it?